the fuck going on with y'all man welcome back to another episode of one piece so last episode was an episode i was not expecting okay you know i assumed after leaving water seven we'd do a little bit of a calm episode a little bit of a you know maybe frankie and the whole crew playing a board game i was okay with just a chill episode figuring out where we're gonna go next but no we got the literal opposite we got something that may even be more important than what luffy and them just did defeating cp9 and destroying water seven i mean sorry uh enos lobby ace fire fist ace versus blackbeard marshall teach is his name something like that um yeah that just happened that just happened Ace being one of the strongest characters we've seen thus far, able to go head up against Smoker, maybe even beat him, okay? Um, against Blackbeard, who apparently has the most dangerous devil fruit of all, Darkness. And the reason why it's so dangerous is because it can counter all the other devil fruits. Because Darkness, here's the quote, swallows everything up. You know, people, places, things devil fruits devil fruit powers devil fruit users he can take their power that kind of reminds me of that old tv series heroes where the main villain also had the same thing where he could take your power and he accumulated all these powers and just became the strongest being that's blackbeard he, so far we've only known i you know you know it's crazy i asked this question in in the past like 200 episodes ago if it was possible for someone to have more than one devil fruit i guess now we know it is so this guy is just gonna collect devil fruits and just by default he will be the strongest person in the world even stronger than four emperors seven warlords like no, this guy is definitely a main player. And the only reason why I, under I underestimated him at first was because we met him at the as the cherry pie guy. God damn it, dude. They threw me off. But he's real. He's real. And he has the same, you know, um, ignorance as, and blissfulness as Luffy. Which means he doesn't give a fuck. He's, go he's on go. He presses W and he's not going to stop. He gives me that vibe. And that's that's scary that's scary because luffy's the same luffy's the same um so yeah they went head up fire versus darkness we don't know who won actually so maybe this episode they'll show us however um i did notice there was like 10 filler episodes after that fight so i don't know if they're actually going to go over that fight and see who won i would like for that to happen but normally after like uh, some some filler episodes there's some there'll be some random shit that could be going on and i gotta figure it out so we'll know once we want to watch that episode but last episode was crazy bro i did not expect or i didn't i was okay without that fight <laughs> it seems like i find myself a lot of the times taken taken aback and surprised by how much good content that one piece is giving and the backstories and the fights like when i'm content when something happens that you always give me something more i'm like damn they ain't gotta do that uh, that's been happening constantly and if you guys have been watching my reactions this whole time you'd know that's that's how i've been feeling so i'm very appreciative for that i'm grateful and i'm ready to watch the next episode so let's see what's, what's gonna happen that's where we are in the story so without further ado let's get into it this is one piece episode 337 we're skipping the fillers always um if y'all are not a member of the channel members get early access to the one piece reactions and i'm at least like 100 episodes ahead right now okay uh, so if you want to become a member you want to click that join button down below all right and of course if you want to watch the full version of these reactions instead also early access you can hit up my patreon which is also linked down below in the description otherwise you can always just like comment subscribe hit the bell for the algorithms and or join my discord if you haven't already with that being said op337 let's go Takoyaki's pretty good. Good job, Sanji. That actually sounds pretty good right now. Fuck. <laughs> I would like some. Oh, 
<laughs> let's go soap breakfast lunch and dinner is served also it looks like this is the episode that i was asking for the chill one the one where we just where we just relax after a big ass fight and buster call <laughs> i don't mind this <clears throat> is there there's definitely not treasure in there it loki might be a person i mean where do we find luffy in a fucking barrel <laughs> okay what's inside um Is that like a flare gun? That's bad. That means someone's coming. So it was a trap. So now that someone has seen that, they're gonna come and take our shit. At least they hope they are. Luckily, our crew is worth over six hundred million dollars now. <laughs> so maybe, maybe we could actually fend for ourselves. A storm? That's pretty, uh... Is that a coincidence? Or convenient? It's crazy that a storm popped up. As soon as the barrel got opened up with that flare gun. Devil Fruit user? We've seen someone with elements before. Luffy's father, possibly Dragon. Damn. Okay. So we can sail without the sails with this, um, with this ship. That's definitely cool. Cause I remember watching a lot of pirate movies. You would only sail if there was wind going on, but if we got a ship with thrusters, we're chilling. We just need a little bit of Coca-Cola. <laughs> All right, Frankie. I want to know what else we got in that ship. I know we got a lot more. <clears throat> really is this it is this the florian triangle the bimbuna triangle that they've been talking about that was fast okay i mean that's exactly what they said right to get to fishman island we got to go past this creepy ass triangle so maybe that's what the barrel did. The barrel somehow activated the triangle. That's so weird. Someone's definitely behind it, bro. Yeah. Oh. What? Bro, what is this? Is this actually like a horror arc? It's looking like it. They're talking about ghosts and skeletons and it's dark and shit? There's a literal ghost pirate ship pulling up on us. Oh, hell no. Nah. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Are we overreacting here? I feel like we're overreacting. He's just saying, yo ho ho ho. What's wrong with that? <laughs> Unless it's like a spell. <laughs> Hi there. Hmm? Okay, this is no troll. I've heard that those lyrics before. Like on TikTok or some shit. But it was a girl voice. Oh, shit. It's where it's from? Ain't no way. I always wonder what it was from. 
<laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, it goes something like I heard that on on TikTok literally every day. Is this where it's from? I like how they're pulling straws for Luffy Luffy's chaperone. <laughs> Cause he needs one. He's a fucking dum dum who just beat the strongest member of CP9, by the way. Is that a prop? Is it? Is it? It's still right. Is that a prop? Is it some devil fruit guy puppeteering that thing? It looks like it's there to scare people, but that's it. It's like a scarecrow type shit. <laughs> what the fuck is up with the va- <laughs> the, <laughs> the elevator music in the background when they, when they introduced him. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Who the fuck is this? And why is he talking? I'm so confused. But it makes sense though, because it, it seems like we were overreacting exa and exaggerating. When this skeleton might actually be a pretty cool guy. <laughs> Okay. All right. What's his name? Bruh. <laughs> okay. We may have found Sanji's best friend. What the fuck? I'm sorry. So it's the skeleton who's got some style. He's got he's got an afro. They played eleva elevator music jazz in the background, and he asked to see her panties. What the fuck did I just watch? <laughs> what the fuck? What is it? Oh, this is supposed to be a horror arc. I am not scared in the slightest. What? Uh, what? 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 Did we just? What the fuck just happened? Why? Luffy, bruh. He, look, I know he seems cool, but he might be evil. You never know. We gotta be more careful. God damn it, Luffy, you fuck. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Obviously, first impressions are important. First impression of this guy, this well-dressed skeleton with an afro singing a uh, pirate lullaby or some shit, uh, who's uh, making one-liners. He's got some one-liners already, <laughs> okay? Um, he seems cool, obviously, at first glance. But he might be evil. You never know. You never know in anime. In anime, they, they could be evil. They, are, they kind of always are, low-key. Um, so, yeah. Luffy jumping the gun again. Why did Luffy just invite him? I mean, I get it. We kind of have... I mean, we just got a cyborg, which is like one in a million. And a talking skeleton? That's kind of the same thing. Like weirdness chance wise i get why he did it <laughs> that would definitely be a crazy addition to the straw hats but what all right well i was expecting a horror arc we've entered the floridian triangle it's dark it's scary there's a storm going on with green lightning okay um we passed by a super big ghost ship with a single person on there, a talking skeleton who has one-liners for jokes. <laughs> that's where we are right now. And that's as far as I can think or take it. I need to know his backstory. I need to know why the fuck they're talking skeleton. Someone definitely did that to them, right? That's not a thing that just happens. Okay, it's like Frankie being a cyborg. How did that happen? I'm curious. Big ass ghost ship. There was a pirate flag on it. Was he part of a crew? Was he part of a crew? Is this a Pirates of the Caribbean situation? Where nighttime, um, you know, he's this, daytime, he's an actual person? There's a lot of things that can happen here. 
you know is this like a Davy back arc right or Davy Jones arc you know what I'm saying um, yeah there's a lot of things that could happen but in any, in any case Luffy invited him to the group we might have just made another friend <laughs> we might have just gotten another member a talking fucking skeleton who was singing a song I've heard before multiple times and I've always wondered where that's from it's from One Piece? That's crazy. It's from One Piece. Unless I heard it from another, like, anime intro. Um, but it's pretty catchy, especially with a female's voice. I, again, I heard that song, the song he was humming, so many times on TikTok, I recognize that anywhere. So, this is where this is where this from? That's wild. I had no idea. Alright. Well, cool. Cool. Um... I guess we gotta wait till next episode to to see what he's about. Hopefully, he's cool peoples. He seems like cool peoples off the first impression, for sure. We will definitely hang out with him, but we gotta see, see. You know what I'm saying? Uh, anyway, that's gonna be it for the episode, y'all. If y'all enjoyed the episode just as much as I did, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell for the algorithms, and of course, join the Discord if you haven't already. If y'all are not a member of the channel, members get early access to these reactions. And I'm something like at least 100 episodes ahead, alright? So if you want to become a member, you want to click that join button down below, alright? And of course, if you want to watch the full version of these reactions instead, also early access, you can hit on my Patreon, which is also linked down below in the description. Um, otherwise, that's going to be it for me. Y'all have a good one. I'm out of here. I can't wait to find out more about the skeleton guy. And I'll see y'all on the next episode of One Piece. Alright? Peace!